Afternoon everyone, it is, uh, it's that strange time of year now between Christmas and New Year, so I don't really know what day it is, it kind of runs like that, I think it's a Wednesday, this. Uh, yeah, so we're doing a video today, uh, the video is on the history of tractors on the farm, so right from the very start, uh, I'm going to do a kind of like a timeline, tell you what year we got it in, uh, roughly how long we had it for, uh, and then what we changed it for, and yeah, it should be an interesting video, I've been asked to do this video many times before, I've never got around to it, but there's not much else happening on the farm this same year, so um, yeah, it's just a chance to, to do it and get it done. This time of year, between Christmas and New Year, we kind of... We just do what has to be done. It's kind of running out of the farm. We just uh, we've everything kind of set up that uh, for this week or so, or maybe a little bit over a week, depending on how the days fall. Uh, it, we're just doing the feeding, maybe a bit of bedding, but it's just the bare minimum that, that has to be done, and it's a chance to recharge, rest the ba rest the batteries if you like, uh, and get charged back up and ready to go again uh, when when January comes around. So. Yeah, nice time of the year to get to get this uh, to get this time off. Um, yeah, so I think that's really it. Let's get started on what tractor we had first. Okay, so let's get going with this. So I've set you up here now, just sitting on the wheel of the tractor. So uh, you should be able to see me okay. Uh, all right. So yesterday I done a little bit of a poll on YouTube just to kind of uh, throw it out there, see what everyone thought the first tractor on the farm was. Uh, the options were Massey, Ford, John Deere, David Brown and International. 54% said that it was a David Brown. 70% uh, said it was a Massey. 11% uh, said Ford. 10% uh, said International. And 8% said John Deere. So uh, for the 54% that said it was a David Brown, it wasn't a David Brown. So if it wasn't a David Brown, then what was it? Well, anyone who said uh, of the 11% of you who said that it was a Ford got it 100% right. Uh, first tractor on the farm was, uh, was got in 1968. Uh, it was a Ford uh, 3000 Super Dexter. It was the pre-force model. Uh, it was uh, 1966 was the year of the tractor or the the yeah the year it was it was registered as new, and we got as I say we got it roughly around 1968, so yeah we were quite late getting the tractor. Uh, we had walked the horses right up until then. My grandfather had walked the horses right up until then. Uh, Neighbours or contractors come in and done a little bit of the walk to help out at the busy times of the year, so uh, he didn't bother buying the tractor until quite late. Uh, but when he did, this is the first tractor that he went for. Uh, we kept the tractor for a number of years. It was here. I think for around five years on the farm, maybe six years. And it was quite a good tractor. Uh, there was a couple of issues with it. One of the things was that uh, the oil wasn't quite right for them that come in them when they were uh, when they were new and even afterwards. And I think Ford had tricked around with the oil to try and get it right. But because the oil wasn't right or suitable for them, uh, ended up the rings would go on them. So uh, at one point after a number, couple of years, the rings went in it. Uh, the engine had to be redone, new set of rings put into it. Um, and it done another couple of years again before the rings went in it again. And I think after that, that happened then they decided to get rid of it so uh, then in around 1974 uh, or early 1975 uh, they changed the tractor for uh, a David Brown and it was a David Brown 990 Selectomatic was the next tractor on on the farm uh, it had a David Brown triple loader on it which uh, was a very useful addition uh, back then um, it was a great tractor. That tractor was here uh, and still is on the farm, actually. My uncle owns it and it, it done a mountain of walk, a lot of walk. Uh, all along that whole time, uh, it done ploughing. Uh, we had a, a Howard uh, dung spreader, manure spreader. It, it, it would fill it, it would then be hooked onto it and you would go and spread the dung with it. Uh, yeah, a lot of cultivation work done with it as well. And it was a great all-round tractor. Uh, made hay with it. Everything. It was the it was the main tractor on the farm, and done a lot of hours on it. And it gave very little trouble. It was a super super tractor. It's one of the reasons why we've such a love for David Brown's now, uh, is 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 that tractor. So, um, yeah. So that was the David Brown. That's to say, it came in 1974. It stayed all all along. It never it was never got rid of. Uh, around 1976. There was another tractor bought a couple of years later. Um, it was a Nutfield 465 and it was kind of bought as a second tractor. It wasn't kept that long. It was used a little bit and uh, it was sold on then. Uh, one of the, the 
the things about it was that it was an absolute flying machine on the road, very fast uh, and suitable for doing any road runs, uh, if we were collecting anything from the your know, feed stores or anything like that. So, um, but again, a good enough tractor, but just wasn't kept that long. It was sold about a year, eighteen months later, and there was a, a 1977. In, sorry, in 1977, there was a Fordson Super Major bought. So it was the last type before uh, they changed over to the new performance. And that tractor was kept then for a number of years as well uh, as a second tractor. Uh, before then, it was changed. Uh, and there was that's when the first John Deere came onto the farm. That was in 1982. Okay, so I had a stop video in there. Somebody came into the yard earlier. Well, I wasn't able to continue videoing, so it's dark now outside. And we continue on with the video. We got uh, just about it got as far as us getting the first John Deere on the farm. Uh, it arrived on the farm in 1982. Uh, it was 1978, John Deere 2130 with a Duncan cab. Uh, and it was, a, it was a super tractor. It was the later one of the 2130s, obviously. Um, yeah, it was it was a great tractor. It it was it's still here on the farm. We have it. It's the one that's in for restoration that we've done quite a bit of work to, but haven't done much to it in the last couple of years. Um, but we put a loader on it then in later years. Uh, it done all, it done a lot of loader work. Uh, it filled the diet feeder right up until we got the teleporter, which uh, was in two thousand and seven. We'll come to it in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, it was a great tractor. Uh, we bought it of a local tractor dealer, a machinery dealer, Arthur O'Neill, O'Neill's, which is in Cullerville. Uh, some people may know them. And yeah, sound man Arthur, bought the tractor of him. A neighbor of ours actually looked at it as well. They didn't purchase it because uh, of the hitch set up on the 2130s. And uh, we looked at it, we ended up purchasing it. And a uh, fantastic tractor. Uh, as I say, it done a mountain of work. Uh, and it was our main tractor right up until 1999, until the 2850 arrived on the scene. Uh, but it it come from Stinson's in Ochna uh, They were tractor dealers, so a lot of people may know them. That's in, in County Tyrone. Uh, roughly around 4,000, just over 4,000 hours on it when we got it. So it hadn't done much work, and it was very, very clean. I may have a picture of it. I have. I'll stick it in here. Uh, but yeah, very clean tractor. And it's been it's been a great workhorse ever since we've got it as well. Um, next machine then to arrive on the farm was, uh, just thinking off the top of my head, uh, the in 2004 I purchased uh, purchased the the 6420s uh, new. <clears throat> so yeah, that was the that's that was a quite a big purchase at the time. We were moving up into it. They were a much heavier tractor, obviously still a four cylinder, um, but. We were starting to, we had more cattle, we had more land, and we needed a slightly bigger tractor than the 2850, and it was a good step up, a lot heavier. Uh, there were 125 horsepower, or just over that actually with the boost, and super, super tractor. Uh, and it's been a great workhorse ever since. We've done a mountain of work with that. It drew, done all the slurry, uh, worked the, the double chop side of the Chavez stuff for years, uh, plowing, power harrowing, it done a lot of work. Uh, and it was a great, great tractor, uh, and, st and still is. Uh, so that was that. Was that. that was in 2004. Uh, moving on then, next tractor or next machine that we bought was the Teleporter. It arrived on the farm in 2007, uh, and we've had it ever since. It's done all the loader work ever since. Uh, hasn't been completely trouble-free, but it hasn't given that much trouble either. A seal was the biggest thing that we had to do last year, uh, which uh, required us to take the engine out. Uh, but the rest has all been just little fiddly bits, uh, mostly hoses busting, which is all part of it, I suppose. Once the machine starts to get old, uh, hoses start to go on it. So, uh, but it has been it has been a good machine as well. Um, yeah, so that was 07. Uh, next tractor was that arrived on the farm was... Actually, two arrived the one year in 2013. Uh, the first one that arrived was uh, the, the 6930. So again, at this stage, we wanted a six-cylinder tractor. Uh, we wanted something that was heavier, a bit, bit 
a bit better polo, more power, and it fitted the bill. Uh, we purchased it, it came from Handling Machinery here in Dundalk. Uh, it was local enough to us. Uh, the guy that owned it, it was a builder that owned it, and it hadn't done much in the lines of work. Actually, there'd never been anything on the hydraulic arms of it, so uh, there was only just over a thousand hours when we got it. And again, we have 4,800 or 900 hours in it now, and it has given little or no trouble. Uh, I, I've, Struggle to think of anything that has actually went wrong with it. Uh, it has been an absolute brilliant tractor and uh, great power in it, uh, just an absolute workhorse. Um, so that was that. Later then in 2013, we also purchased, not much later, only a couple of months later, we purchased the 995. It came out of the UK, we had seen it advertised. Actually, it was advertised in the Cow magazine which was an unusual place to see a David Brown. Uh, we were a little iffy about it initially, made a phone call about it. It was in uh, Yorkshire and Leeds, only 2,500 th 2, hours in it or something like that, or 2,200 hours, very low hours, only 2,000 odd hours in it. Purchased it uh, at good, reasonably good value. I think it was around 3,500 or something we got for it, which was, uh, we thought was, was, was very good value uh, and it has been a fantastic tractor as well. Uh, I have a picture of it here, the first job that it had done when it arrived the following day it was turning hay and it hasn't, it hasn't stopped turning hay or rowing hay ever since. Uh, but yeah, great tractor, it does hours and hours on the power hose around the yard, the PTO driven power hose and uh, does it all on the five gallons of diesel. It would go for days on a couple of gallons of diesel. So. Uh, very economical and a great tractor and continues our love for David Brown's on another bit. Um, yeah, so that was really, that was all the tractors then until the CEO, this girl here behind me, she arrived uh, just there a few months ago. So 2020 was the arrival of uh, the 3650. Um, uh, as I mentioned before, I had wanted one of those for a long, long time. I've been on the lookout for one for... <sighs> probably three or four years, uh, the, the right one. Uh, and I've been longing for one since I was 13. So, uh, yeah, since about 1993. So, uh, yeah, a, a lifelong ambition of mine to own one of them. And looking forward to getting going on it and getting some of the work done to it uh, now in the, coming, in, in the coming weeks. We're going to get started on it. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's the history of tractors on the farm. Uh, so, f <laughs> uh, for anyone who guessed, other than... Uh, a Ford at the start, uh, hard luck, but uh, yeah, that's what we started off with, a Ford 3000 Dexter uh, pre-force. That was the first track that we owned. Oh, quickly before I go, Farmflex, you might remember last year I'd done a little bit of promoting of their uh, video streaming service. Uh, last year, around mid-January, just before the doors closed. Well, going to be doing the same again this year, but just in case, if you were thinking about becoming a member of the service, uh, do so before midnight on the 31st. Uh, of December because they're putting their prices up. So it's a good opportunity if you're thinking about becoming a member just to get at the old price. I will be promoting it again after Christmas, but it will be at the, the new price. Uh, look, it, it's just, it might save you a couple of quid. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just for your benefit if you were thinking about becoming a member. They have super, super videos. Uh, if you go into the, the link in the description below, it'll take you through to their page. Uh, also, I've got a video on there where I'm just describing some of the things I like uh, about the streaming service and uh, the kind of videos that they have and what I like about them. So, uh, as I say, go into the link in the description, check it out and see how you get on. Uh, that's it. That's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you are not already a subscriber, hit the sub button, leave a like in the video, comment down below, all that kind of stuff.